Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw your coins off of the BitGet Exchange. If you appreciate this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. In order to withdraw your coins from BitGet to another wallet address or to another exchange of the fiat gateway, there are a few things you'll have to have in place before proceeding. The first thing is, is you'll have to add a withdrawal address and I cover how to do that in this tutorial. The second thing is you'll have to set up a funding code, which I cover in this video as well. Your coins will also have to be in your spot account. So if they're currently in your futures account, you'll have to transfer them over to spot. If you don't know how to do that, I've made a video on how to get that done and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below. And the last thing is, is you'll have to have a second layer of security added to your BitGet account, such as Google Authenticator. So if you haven't set up Google Authenticator just yet, I also have a video on where to go to get that done. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below as well. Let's get started. To withdraw your coins, just come up here to the top right hand side of the screen and hover over assets. From this drop down menu, click where it says withdraw. And this brings you over to the withdrawal form. So the next step is to select the coin you wish to withdraw. So in this case here, it's set to BTC. I only have Tether, so I'm going to click where it says BTC and I'm going to select Tether from this drop down menu. Now we need to add the withdrawal address. In order to do that, we'll come right down here and we'll click on withdraw address. And here's the form where we can add a withdrawal address. So the first thing we need to do is choose the coin. So in my case, it's going to be Tether. So I'll give that a click, click on USDT. Now we need to choose the chain type. So I'm going to click right here. And at the time of recording, you can see that there's four different options here. And you want to make sure that the chain type matches on both ends of this transaction. You don't want to be sending from the Ethereum network into the Tron network, and you wouldn't want to send from Tron into the Ethereum network. If you do that, you will lose your coins forever. So I'll go ahead and just simply demonstrate with Coinbase. I'm just going to drag Coinbase into frame like so. I'm going to come up here to send and receive over to receive here. Now I can see my tether address and you'll notice at the bottom it says only send USDT ERC20 to this address. So this is the Ethereum network. So I'm just going to quickly copy this address. I'm going to drag Coinbase out of frame. I'm going to select the Ethereum network and now I'm going to paste that address right here into withdrawal address. I can add a note, so I'll go ahead and just call this Coinbase and then click on submit. Now BitGit is asking me to send a verification code to my email. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on get it now. And now I have 120 seconds to type this in. Once you put your code in, click on confirm. Now I've successfully added that withdrawal address. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click back on withdraw and this gets us back to the withdrawal form. Now I'm going to click here where it says BTC and select Tether. And now I can come down here where it says withdraw address, give that a click. And there's where you'll see the address you just added. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Up here where it says chain name, I'm going to give that a click. Select the ERC20 network. Because in my case here, the address that I'm sending to is on the Ethereum network. Now down here, I can put in a custom amount of Tether that I wish to withdraw. You can see my balance right down below here, or I can just simply click on all and then click on submit. And if you haven't done so already, you might get a little note here that says to protect your account, please set your fund password. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. And then here's where you can set up a funding code. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly do that. Then you'll need to go through the safety verification. So you'll have to request a code to your email again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click right here where it says get it now. Once you have your code, just type it in this box here. Then click on confirm. And now I've added a funding code password for deposits and withdrawals. You'll notice that we're on the security settings page. So this is the page that you come to in order to add your Google Authenticator code as well. If you need a little bit of help with that, I've made a video for you and I'll be leaving it linked in the description down below. At any point, you can get to the security settings page by simply coming up here at the top right hand side of the screen, hover over this little profile icon and from this drop down menu, you'd click on security settings. Now let's proceed with our withdrawal. So we're going to come right up here over our assets, come back down, click on withdraw. And now we're back to the withdrawal form. Now I'm going to click right here where it says BTC and select tether. I'm going to choose the chain type. Of course, the wallet that I'm sending to is on the Ethereum network. So I'm going to click on ETH. Then I'm going to select that withdrawal address from this drop down menu here. Now I'm going to choose an amount. I'll just go ahead and do all submit. And now I need to do my safety verification. So I'm going to request a code to my email by clicking get it now. Now I enter my code. 
down here, I put in my Google two-factor authentication. And then down below that, we put in our funding code. And then confirm. Now the order to withdraw the tether has been submitted. We can view the withdrawal status by clicking right here. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. I also have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to trade features on BitKit, how to use BitKit Spot Market, among many other tutorials on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check those out whenever you get some time. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.